Lucy, you've not seen her this morning, then? No, I called her, but I just got her answering machine. I'm gonna pop in. No, just give them some space, OK? They've got lots to talk about. I'm just worried about her. Whatever she decides to do about this baby, I just want her to be happy. And I hope she knows that. Oh, Mr. Daff, of course she does. Oh, I wonder who did that to him, then. Cameron, I'm guessing. Unless she walked into a door. Full of surprise, isn't he? Cameron? Yeah. Looks like he'll do anything for our Debbie. Good. Mm. <laughs> this is so not funny. It is. Oh, come on, Debs. It is just a bit. You should see him. Yeah, well, I just want to get to the end of a day when a solution to a problem is not to deck someone. What can I say? Maybe Cameron's not as different from your dad as you thought he was. You know, I could seriously get to dislike you. Shows he cares for you, though. Yeah. And he's still got his job. So, no harm done. And then the pair of you can, I don't know, just get on with things, I suppose. Why do I get the impression that you want to say something, but you're not? Because. Maybe it's not really my business, is it? Not at the moment, anyway. What are you on about? She's just not because you're not talking to her about the baby. Thanks. I'm sorry, love. I just had to get it out there. Someone had to. And I'm not not, because it happens. I just want my daughter to be happy, right? Whatever you decide, I want you to be happy. Ah. Are you worried that I'm not going to tell you stuff from now on? I don't want this all to be about me, do I? Oh, there's a first. Sorry. Whatever happens, you're still my mum. And I'm keeping the baby. <gasps> oh, oh, Debs. Hmm. I'm thinking something with bubbles. Hmm. Orange juice for me. Oh, Debs, come on. We're supposed to be celebrating. And keeping it quiet. <sighs> Small white wine it is. Oh, do you want a splash of soda for the bubbles? Mm. Uh, thought I might find you here. Yeah, meet me in the pub text, probably gave it away. Mm -hmm. Perfect <laughs> timing by the looks of things as well. A bottle of lager, please, Chaz. I'll get us a table. He has so got you sussed. Yeah, but it's good to have Val back. Yes, I think it's going to be a bit expensive. <laughs> Whose fault's that? If I were you, I'd just stop sulking and accept the inevitable. That barn conversion is perfect for us. Buy your old place back? Hmm. I've yet to be convinced, thank you. So, let's get the keys and prove it. Hey, excuse me. Can I have a drink first? Yeah, go on then, if you're quick. Any suggestions on how to get out of this would be appreciated. Don't even think about it. They are chomping at the bit. That is a horse racing term, by the way. Yeah, I know what it is. Since when did you learn to lip read? No need. It's all in the body language. <laughs> body language? OK, what is my body doing now? Debs? Not me. I've got a gearbox to drop. Why can't you get your dad to do it? And why? Well, because we don't want you doing an injury to yourself, do we? Why would you? My fault, exactly. Uh, uh, Valerie and I were uh, wondering if... Um... We could have another look around the barn conversion. Yeah. Becoming a bit of a habit, you must be interested. We've not exactly got much choice, have we? All oh, right, so you don't want these? Oh, yes, we do want them. Eric's just trying to play it cool, that's all. He's dying to see it, really. Great. Well, in that case, take as long as you need. We will. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. 